Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time I finished off with Rusty Bucket Bay. And uh, here we are. Final level of the game. 800 notes, 89 jiggies. The other one, uh, the odd one out, of course, being the last jiggy from Gruntilda's Lair. And only two more honeycomb pieces to go. Um, just over five hours in the game and let's get started with Click Clock Wood. Now, I actually had some people tell me that Click Clock Wood is harder than uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, in their opinion. Um, I don't know, I, I have had some problems with uh, Click Clock Wood, but it's nowhere near as regular as my ones with Rusty Bucket Bay. I can see why people would consider it hard, it's easily the longest level of the game by far. But, I don't know, is there a mumbo token underneath one of these? Guess not. Uh, of course, the gimmick behind Click Clock Wood, again, for all two of you. The level is divided into four places, and as you can see from the little flower over that, the... let's try to get closer. The snowflake over this, the falling leaf over here, and the bright and shiny sun over here, this level is divided into seasons. This is... this is one of the reasons I love this game so much. I mean, they never really fit into, you know, typical level stereotypes. Mumbo's Mountain is, you know, a, a tribal little mountain area with a, a termite tower. Um, Treasure Trove Cove is not... well, it's... For all intents and purposes, not really a water level. Um, there's a pirate theme to it and everything like that. Clanker's Cavern is really the water level, and uh, it's a sewer level, more like. Oh, and here we have Naughty. Isn't he from Donkey Kong? I don't know. But, yeah, Bubble Gloop Swamp, yeah, it's a swamp level. Swamp's not explored that much in uh, video games. Freeze Easy Peak is not just a winter level, it's a Christmas level. Gobi's Valley is an Egyptian-themed desert level. I mean, Mad Monster Mansion It's your obligatory spooky level. Oh, we don't even need these Mumbo tokens anymore. Um, Rusty Bucket Bay, as much as I hate it, it's, you know, an uh, industry level, big pollution theme going on. And Click Clock Wood is not a forest level. It's a f level based on seasons. There's just so much about this game that I and so many other people enjoy, and I don't know, what can I say about it? Anyways, by crapping into there, we uh, apparently fertilized a flower bud that just... Uh, I'm, I've gotten off track, I haven't even talked really that much about the level. And we have the new version of the tube worms, I don't know what the hell they're called. Uh, and these are birds, and as I recall, I'm gonna get hit intentionally by this one. Yep, they take away two honeycombs. So, they're... I guess their beaks are sharper than the nasty freaking teeth of the worms. Whatever. Oh, I love Click Clock Wood. It's difficult, don't get me wrong, and I, I may die. I haven't really died yet, besides that intentional death in Grunty's lair. And that's a first for me, by the way, that I've not died in game yet. Besides what I did intentionally. I don't know. I love Click Clock Wood. Uh, use a gold feather to get a gold feather. And I'm gonna ignore the Mumbo transformation for this level for right now. I am gonna give him a, him a visit, but. Uh, Click clock wood. This is Bramble. Don't step in it. You don't even need those waiting boots, to be honest. But, of course, the reason why so many people die here is... As you ascend the tree, you get very high up, and... Uh, falling becomes less a matter of getting just a couple of hearts and all that... Or a couple of uh, honeycombs lost. You could very easily get your ass killed. If you fall from high enough, I don't know. I enjoy it. I certainly do enjoy Click Clock Wood to a very large degree. And even though that's a shiny Mumbo token, I don't need any more. So. 
I'm not gonna go out of my way or risk myself bothering with any. And this, I believe, is all of the notes in spring. I believe there's 16 notes or something like that. But we're not done yet. We have to ascend the tree. And the way to do that actually is here. I think I like spring's version of this uh, theme the best. And yeah, every every season of this level has a different arrangement of the Click Clock Wood theme. And I prefer the springs the best. It's you know cheery, bright, colorful, uh, just like the level. I enjoy Click Clock Wood. And some people have trouble uh, <laughs> around those things. I, I'm not one of them. There's a beehive. We'll be paying more attention to that later. Oh, oh, that was close. Uh, thankfully, I'm not high enough yet to really start seeing a huge loss in health. It's when we get to the highest point. Uh, oh, this part I remember hating so much. The game's camera angles really take a dive in the shitter here. Alright. Yeah, if you approach this from the wrong way, the game will just start screwing around with the camera. And, by the way, there's a lot of people who seem to be saying that Rusty Bucket Bay is not as hard as Click Clock Wood. And I would agree if it weren't for that engine room. For the love of God, folks, that engine room belongs in a freaking I want to be the guy or Kaizo ROM hack or something like that. Not in the actual game. I mean, yeah, I got through it, but that was because A, I was taking it carefully, and B, there was a little bit of luck. Um, this is Nabnut. He likes acorns. He's just going to eat a few more. I love that little jingle. Uh, no, uh, no circular bridge yet. Uh, the level has construction that takes place during it, uh, and bridges are formed. That house that you saw um, is slowly built up, and I think this is the highest point that we actually need to go. I know there's a jiggy up there, but I don't need to do it yet. I'll do that in, in fall when the construction is best, or even winter. Oh, ain't he cute? He's a baby eagle. He's got a diaper and everything. We'll be seeing much more of him later. And, I don't know, I I'll give this a try. Um, I haven't progressed that much through the level yet to be given a whole lot of heartache about it. But I as I'm sure everybody who's seen Josh Jepson's LP of this knows, uh, it's not supposed to go to Nangle. <laughs> we'll find out if it goes at an angle for me. Uh, it's a little bit slippery here. You need to take this very carefully, position the camera so that it doesn't go at an angle. And don't chain jumps, so to speak. And here we are. That wasn't so bad, was it? And that takes care of uh, one, probably the largest piece of anxiety in this level. The one reason why you're going to die due to fall damage is up here. And that's our first Jiggy. Yes, it took us eight minutes to find our first Jiggy of the level. <sighs> but yeah. And we could fall with the gold feathers if we wanted to, but as I told you guys, as I learned from Josh Jepson's LP, do the Beak Buster, you don't die to fall damage. Voila. So useful. Uh, and we're done in spring. We hit the switch to open up the summer door, and there is, of course, the transformation, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Aww. Naughty can't get in his house. I really wish that this weren't faster than walking, because I know a lot of people are so frustrated with the fact that I don't use, you know, Banjo's Melee or his Roll because they're not strong enough. B 
Banjo's mobility and his attack power is nothing to Kazooie, so... I don't know. There's really not much to say on that subject besides the fact that I wish Kazooie weren't so annoying. I wish she didn't squawk every step she took. I wish she didn't have that annoying ass rat a tat rap. Irie's hungry! Or Eerie's hungry. I, I, I've i called him Eerie, I've called him Irie. I'm not really sure what the official pronunciation is, but who cares? I called him uh, Eerie the Eagle when I was a wee lad. So, he needs caterpillars. Five to be exact. And there's more than five in this level. And, yeah, five in this level uh, is all you need, but we will need more come... Uh, fall, autumn, so... Oh. Well, that didn't hit me for two damage. I thought they did. Eh, uh, shrug. Oh, uh, as I recall, there's not many notes in summer. We'll see how many we get. First of all, Naughty needs to get in his house, so we'll help him out. I am pretty strong. Wee, whoa, whoa, wee, wee, whoa, whoa. Let's go inside. We get a reward, probably a jiggy. Oh, can't get up there. Just one more example of the game trolling you, saying, Our princess is in another castle, you'll have to wait. And I love the Robin Hood enemies in this level. You know, they have uh, sunglasses on in summer. Just little aesthetic pieces that, that I like about the level. I, the enemies, the environments. There's so much detail, and it really never fit. It, it redefined these quote unquote level stereotypes with such a great deal of variety. I heard a caterpillar. There's a caterpillar. I know, Kazooie's annoying. I feel your pain. I always approach these things with a rat a tat rap. I mean, unless I see a honeycomb or something, just to be on the safe side. It's always more important to be safe than sorry. I, I've never really had a problem with those enemies screwing me over, even uh, in the higher elevations. Because you're not invisible during the uh, rat a tat rap, but you are very hard to... Your your damage priority seems to be higher than theirs, and look who it is. Oh no, it's you two again. Poor Gobi. I mean, how can you not feel sorry for this guy? So, we screw with his water again. Did he drink up that whole river? Uh, just wait, Gobi. Just stick around. And he does. Got another, oh. Got another caterpillar. Only need two more for this season, but we will need more come fall, so. <laughs> God, they really give up the caterpillars this time. Oh! Bees. Oh, wow. He hit me. Uh, that's how slopes work. If they stop your attack, you get screwed. I, I apologize if this is a bit boring to you guys, but I like this. I am enjoying the lack of events happening. Uh, and if nothing happens by fall, well, I've pretty much dodged the bullet that is Click Clock Wood. Mumbo. Sun tanning. I love how all those fires are out. Nice little attention to detail there. What do we got here? Uh, another Mumbo token. We have way too many of those. Mumbo, do you want the other tokens? Seriously? Because there's no point to collecting any other ones after the 25th. Got a shock jump pad. 
Um, I don't think I'm missing any notes down here in the lower levels. There's not many in summer. Most of them are in fall. And though I may have collected that mumbo token during my youth, I've since... I wouldn't say I've gotten rid of my raging kleptomania, but uh, I have put it... Oh! I have put it under control. Be very careful on these. I won't even be hurt by fall damage, but... Do a trial jump, see where the leaf is. <coughs> Position ourselves correctly, and... There we go! Jiggy number dos. Easy. Now it's getting a little dangerous. And that's why we do that. Now, some people, they'll get the nervous reaction and they will actually beak buster from a huge elevation. The beak buster basically resets how much you've fallen. So if you're going to do the beak buster to quote unquote break your fall, then uh, I would highly recommend that you do it at a lower elevation. I know it's a nervous reaction that some people can't control, but eh. I, I don't mind this. I don't mind this level. I'm having a decent amount of fun enjoying myself. Nothing really eventful is happening, so... I have no complaints. No complaints at all. Oh my god. Fall damage. <laughs> the honey bear. He's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Here's the Zubba's or Zuba's, whichever you prefer. Oh my god. Um, easy. Now you could do this the chump way, but it's just that. The chump way. If you do it this way, you're a chump who prefers challenge. This is not a game about challenge, it's a game about platforming. Save the boss fights for Banjo-Tooie. It does them better. Trust me, it does them better. Ay ay ay. And while we're on the subject of Banjo Tooie, I recently took a trip into town at a uh, Mega Media Exchange store. It's like a retro uh, place for used movies, games, like even retro games, uh, CDs, things like that. And they had a copy of Banjo Tooie there, so I bought it for $12. Uh, it. I don't expect to be Let's Playing it anytime soon, though. So, even though some of you may have your hopes up, no, I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon, just on the principle of the fact that I want some knowledge of the game before I end up doing anything of the sort. Knowledge is power. There is no knowledge that is without power, as says Mortal Kombat. So, yeah, don't expect a Banjo-Tooie Let's Play anytime soon. One may come eventually, but not now. And I could have actually made it up here if I had not sucked on that one last jump. Oop, this control stick. Take it slow, land. Uh, nice gold feather. I don't have too many problems with this camera. It's... It's not as bad as, say, Sonic Unleashed's Werehog camera, and oh god, that's another can of worms for another day. But it, this camera does have a tendency to change angles whenever it feels like. And I don't particularly like that. I'm going to zoom out here. So, I don't know. I don't know! Let's pay Nabnut a visit. Hey, Nab... Oh! Oh. He's got none left, you pig. You filthy pig. And how is this my problem? What, you have a jiggy? Oh, okay. 
then it is my problem. I remember during Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play, he had such a difficult time with this area. I, I don't know, I've never had issues with it. You just have to time your Rattatat Rap correctly. Uh, pay a little uh, eerie a visit. And I don't really like how you have to, you know, throw, you know, collectibles one at a time. I think Banjo Tooie fixed that, but especially during the next season in fall when we actually have to give him ten caterpillars. One, two, three. It's like I could take a shit faster than that, and that's not some stupid irate gamer exaggeration. That oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's not some stupid irate gamer exaggerate. Oh crap! That wasn't smart. But uh, it—it's pretty much the truth. Uh, okay, maybe it is a slight exaggeration. But we're done with s uh, 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 summer. There's an extra life that I'm not going to need. And well. While I have it here, I've never really showed this off, but there's two ways to deal with this beehive, beehive surrounded by bees. You could just run away. Easy enough. Or if you feel like sticking around the area, you could always use the Wonder Wing and take care of them that way. But we're... About halfway through Click Clock Wood, guys, I believe I have every note that I'm going to need for summer. If not, I'll get back to you. But... Starting in the next episode, we have two seasons down, two seasons to go, and this one's the one with the most substance. Fall. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, where we continue with Click Clock Wood. Have a good day, everybody. Mm -hmm.